Hey everyone, today's topic is going to be about something that is responsible for most of the skin concerns and most of the problems that we face with our skin and that is skin barrier. So skin barrier is something that a lot of dermatologists talk about but uh, a lot of people don't know about it because most of the content that we are exposed to are mostly DIYs or natural treatments and these videos don't exactly explain how these ingredients or these treatments work with the skin and how it interacts with the skin barrier. Sometimes it's really harmful to the barrier like using lemon on your skin or like using a toothbrush to scrub your nose. All that is really harmful to your skin barrier but uh, not a lot of people know that. So not all natural treatments are bad, it's just some of them and your skin barrier can be damaged from doing natural treatments, uh, from over exfoliation, from not wearing a sunscreen, from having dehydrated skin and all this can uh, damage your skin barrier. So what exactly happens when you have a damaged skin barrier? So when your skin barrier is damaged, your skin will be really greasy but also very dehydrated on the inside. It might be dry and it might be flaky, itchy, a burning sensation. You might have a lot more acne, dark spots and a lot of hyperpigmentation when your skin barrier is damaged. And your skin might start being a lot more sensitive. For example, you might have used a skincare product for so many years and you might not have faced any problem but then suddenly your skin starts having acne due to it or your skin starts drying out or burning due to the product that means you have a damaged skin barrier when your skin barrier is damaged what happens is that your skin loses the ability to retain moisture into your skin so your skin barrier is exactly what it sounds like it's a barrier it's supposed to keep stuff that it wants in and the stuff that it doesn't want out so when your skin barrier is damaged, when it has cuts or lesions on the surface, it can take in allergens and irritants from the atmosphere. Sometimes your skin barrier damage can come from your routine itself. So you have to check into your routine and see if you are doing something that will damage your skin barrier. And example is over cleansing your skin. Maybe you use soap to cleanse your skin and it leaves your skin feeling very tight and very squeaky clean. You should never get that feeling from any cleanser that you use. It might be because you are using not just soap, any harsh cleanser can do that to your skin. Or it might be because you are over exfoliating your skin, maybe using chemical exfoliation. You are using a lot of chemically exfoliating treatments or maybe because you are using a lot of harsh scrubs on your skin. And the last reason could be that you are changing your skincare always. So nowadays there is a lot of skincare available and we get really excited to try out new products and this gives our skin a lot of stress. It is not being able to adjust to any products and then we keep changing it continuously and this can also damage your skin barrier. So if your skin barrier is damaged, what can you do? So the first thing, the first and most important step is to avoid all exfoliating products or any uh, chemically treating ingredients. Uh, you can just use a very gentle cleanser and stick to a moisturizer and a sunscreen and that's it, that's enough. So while choosing a cleanser, choose something uh, that is very gentle and has hydrating ingredients which has a pH of 4.5 to 6.5 and make sure that you wash your face only one or two times a day. If you have dry skin, you can just skip cleansing in the morning and just use a cleanser at night but if you have oily skin, you might need to cleanse twice a day. And if you are using something like micellar water to cleanse your skin, make sure you wash your face after you have finished cleansing with micellar water because micellar water contains surfactants and if it stays on your skin for too long, it can actually damage your skin barrier even more. And while choosing a moisturizer, choose something that contains ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, hyaluronic acid and panthenol. Panthenol is a really good ingredient if you have a damaged skin barrier. It is actually an emollient and a humectant also. But the thing is that most emollients, they are oils and therefore uh, they react with oily skin in some people. But in the case of panthenol, it is actually 
not an oil and therefore it is safe for oily skin as well as dry skin and it is also very sensitive skin friendly so it is a really good ingredient to look out for in your moisturizers next thing is to avoid fragrance essential oils and all sorts of irritating ingredients in products like alcohols and all and the reason for that is because if you have a really damaged skin barrier it can actually worsen the damage stick to a very minimal skincare routine and also avoid any sort of natural treatments that uh, you might be doing at home. The last and most important tip is to use a sunscreen. So when you go out in the sun with a damaged skin barrier, if you don't use a sunscreen, it can actually cause even more damage. So that's it for this video. Like I said, a lot of dermatologists talk about this topic, but no one actually knows about any of this. And <laughs> the reason for that is because like we see a lot of skincare content on YouTube. There are a lot of good YouTubers who do really good skincare content, but there are also a lot of YouTubers who uh, don't exactly uh, research on the skincare content that they do. So there will be one person who says, yeah, take some uh, toothpaste and mix it with some lavender essential oil and apply it on your face and then scrub it with a toothbrush. There's a lot of stuff like that out there. And when someone else hears it, they just uh, think that, oh yeah, this is right. And they also uh, include the same thing in their video. So, so any information that you hear online, Take it with a grain of salt. Even us, just take it with a grain of salt. It might not be the best option for your skin. And even if you see people online doing uh, something with lemon or toothpaste on their skin, uh, the thing is, they might have a lot more resilient skin than yours and your skin might be more susceptible to damage. And if you do the same thing, uh, your skin might end up in a really bad condition. Our page is pretty small right now, but still we are really happy that we are able to educate at least a small group of people about skincare. And when we receive messages saying that, oh, I started a skincare routine because of you, or maybe like, you know, the, your tips helped improve my skin a lot. And when we hear such message, it actually makes us really happy. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.